thank you for 500 subscribers. You know, on with the video. We are written so well that you don't have to ignore any consistencies in the anthrohuman fandom. Just look at this. Everything about me is canon. Everything is just the same me, just with a different picture. My personality is done so well that you wouldn't think twice. My name's Flurry Stowe, by the way. Genetics work exactly how you think they would in the anthro-human fandom. <laughs> no inconsistencies here. None of us are written to do anything cartoony. It's just biology. Nothing more. It's just a human-animal hybrid, basically. Like, we're very much, mostly, like, kin and kith. We identify with and as an anthropomorphic animal. It's basically our DNA. But yeah, transgender works exactly how you would think it would for a human with us. Also, we really like photorealistic furries. We are some of them. We have our own preferences, our own phones, and our own things that we like. Hey, look, it's the Arctic Fox doing quadrobics. Yeah, I'm making meatloaf. Obviously, none of us will be served safe anytime soon. Unless we get a shave. But I don't want to wear a hairnet. We all have our preferences for pants, tail holes, brushes, and skincare products, etc. We're very different people. We are females in the fandom. We just have a laboratory created a voice box, so we sound like the males. Just thought we'd mention that. But yeah, those are some inconsistencies that you can straight up ignore in the anthro-human fandom. The sub-portion of the furry fandom. Because... We already accounted for everything in our life story. But anyways, we'll see you later. Bye for now.